Aloha! Ron here from Holo Holo Adventures. Today's another day in my life. I'm going to the vet center today to go pick up some gear and everything. Got some uh, floors to do at the house, so we'll be working on the master bedroom today. And got to take some stuff to the dump. You see in the back there, that's a lot of the flooring and stuff from the from the master bedroom from the other day. So let's go cruising around. Just sitting here waiting for the vet truck to get back. They got some of my gear in there from the regatta over the weekend. So I'm gonna head into the vet center here shortly and just hang out and talk to the guys there. Uh, fun fact, I actually got my start serving veterans after um, I was medically retired through the vet center. I started there as a work study and started working with their outreach coordinator as an outreach assistant there. And about two years later, uh, I started working for a veteran nonprofit as an outreach specialist, uh, reaching out to the veterans, supplying events for them to get them out and about and uh, in the community and everything. So they, uh, they have a better transition and all that and spark an interest so they're not just sitting there on the couch drinking their life away and help them uh, deal with their their injuries if that is physical or mental so myself I know as a uh, as a veteran you know if you don't if you don't get out there and you don't get your mind going and everything you're just gonna let those demons tear away at you so you have to you have to sit there and keep yourself engaged and uh, put yourself out there and all that and it really helps with the transition so let's go inside So just got done here at the vet center, heading back home. Uh, I got here, the truck was not here, and then my buddy who works here actually called me up and said, oh, I'm stopping by your house, so I'm heading back home now to get everything out of his truck, which will make it a lot easier. At least I don't have to move it two different times. Now we just move it once. So start making my way back home. This was the ugly cheap flooring that came with the house. I have no idea what it was, but it was cheap, ugly. It was cardboard. It was bubbling up after three and a half years of mopping the floor and everything. Parts of it were bubbling up, peeling away. This flooring was cheap. So the flooring I decided to go with throughout the house was a life proof flooring. This is a waterproof rigid core vinyl plank flooring that is scratch resistant and drops and locks into place. When I first bought this flooring it said that there were very little tools that needed to be used to install it. All the directions and YouTube channels I watched said that all you needed was a razor blade to score this flooring several times and then you'd be able to uh, snap it in half. That was not the case though. Besides needing the typical tape measure and different size squares, I did need a circular saw and jigsaw to make sure that cuts were made properly while installing this flooring. This project started about a year ago when Roxy and I were walking around the neighborhood discussing if we wanted to buy a fixer upper and try to flip it or invest in our own home and try to sell it at the end of the year. As each project throughout our house has come to an end, 
Roxy has fallen more and more in love with our house and has come to the decision that she thinks it would be better if we kept our home. 